OK, so um, it's, it's quite a short presentation. I think that the key learnings we wanted to get across was one student's experience of creating the escape rooms, which led to a desire for more opportunities for that kind of thing to be a norm for uh, assignments rather than group presentations. OK, so um, Amy's not with me today, but um, you will hear from her in a recording. Um, so we uh, jointly did a presentation on our escape room uh, experience at the University of York when Amy was working uh, with me as an intern over summer last year. So we had to introduce um, to uh, this particular faculty what we'd experienced, what escape rooms were in the first place. Um, so that's what the this current slide is. So I won't read out everything on there because you all know what escape rooms are. Um, and uh, as part of the, the explanation to staff, we were kind of giving them the rationale for why um, using escape rooms as an assignment would be something that was uh, potentially a really good idea. So as Amy says, it, it's such a motivating experience. You're constantly learning as you go and you're finding new bits to add to make it more exciting or have the task flow more smoothly one into another. Um, and uh, my point was that, you know, if you make your escape rooms online and in a collaborative fashion using a tool like Xerti, which Inga will talk about a little bit more in her session later this afternoon, and it just makes for better teamwork uh, and great for virtual learning. Uh, and then the actual uh, online escape room is a great thing that you can run uh, in any kind of distance learning program, online teaching. Remember, not long ago we had lockdown. <laughs> so, you know, virtual escape rooms really became a thing. And um, OK, uh, so um, I, I wanted to kind of highlight some of uh, the learning that we did as we made and edited and refined our escape rooms. So um, uh, through using Xerti. Um, so by all means, people can go ahead. I've given you the link, so you've got access to these as well. And I'll, I'll add it to the Padlet as well that uh, Rosemary's mentioned. When we were making these, one of the things that um, we learned was really that some pages work better than others, <laughs> as you will experience if you play this. Um, so some, some pages had uh, features that weren't meant for escape room activities, but we were trying to force it. Uh, and so we, we kind of had to hack it a little bit. But the other thing I learned was like, I'm quite like into accessibility. So I was keyboard testing everything. Um, and one of the things I, I realized was that, you know, we were very prone to giving clues in a very visual way. Um, luckily with Xerti, I can kind of press keyboard and tab to things and uh, press enter to enter. Um, but then here I have a clue that's very visual, right? It's like you're reading text as a picture and that's potentially a problem. So I had to get around it by actually adding the meeting, I, you know, in actual text at the bottom, because I kind of felt like we have to make sure the opportunities as equitable as possible. So at least someone can get to the text at the bottom and actually copy that that number which they might need um, in order to to store it and save it. And so, yeah, that that's one thing I learned to do to try and kind of keep that accessibility mind frame as much as possible to make sure that everyone can join in. OK, so uh, let me <laughs> let me let me go into my own escape room. Oh, my God, what was that number? Um, uh, so we're, we're leaving this endless team building exercise, right? <laughs> <laughs> which uh, which you have no choice. You're in a loop. You're trying to escape it. You can't get get out. So um, at that time when we were building, we were lucky enough to be able to buy ourselves a, a, a 360 camera and 
Xerti's got that built-in tool, like Thing Link, where you can easily kind of turn something into something uh, 360 into something more interactive. And this this kind of room, uh, this was a team building day, uh, lent itself to to us trying things out. It's like aha, the door. So again, one of the things I did was to explore the keyboard shortcuts for this 360 exercise, because again. If someone couldn't interact with it without a mouse, it was a problem. So, so that's one thing I, I kind of made sure that we always had keyboard shortcuts to get through everything. So in this case, to get to get to the code, um, the manager has written the code somewhere. So straight away you're scanning the room, who's a manager, you know, what might they have? Um, so that's our manager. <laughs> and again, um, handwritten, you know, door code quite clearly. You didn't want to frustrate people too much. And again, you know, I've 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 made sure that things are, are are there. So, you know, just just making sure that we we make our stuff as accessible as possible. And I'm, I'm not sure I succeeded in all all pages, but certainly it's something that we we really ought to try. Okay. So uh, we've got a, a heater escape room made by Amy. A Amy made these two escape rooms, actually. So they're there for you to play around with. Um, I know when people have got into it, they didn't want to stop playing the game. So I won't go into it right now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hear from Amy through a video, uh, which she recorded with me a couple of days ago, about why she found it such a good experience. So I'm going to open it in a new window. So we've got full screen, Amy, in here. Lillian, as part of the PDLT internship team uh, last summer now. So um, uh, a lot of my work, well, some of the work that I did was focused on making these escape rooms. So um, I made a chemistry themed escape room, as you can see in the slides. And I also kind of made a, a sample escape room for Lillian to kind of showcase which um, I think hopefully you'll be seeing at some point soon. Before the internship, I'd never heard of Xerti. Um, I found it, it's quite, it's a really easy software to use and it's really engaging. So for making the escape rooms, it didn't, it didn't really feel like I was doing work particularly. I just um, was making the escape rooms and obviously learning things as I go. You pick a lot of things up, even if it's new, if it's new software to students, they're going to find it really easy to pick up. Uh, one of the main focus of the internship was accessibility. It's a really accessible software, which is obviously good for um, wider university use. And um, for the escape rooms, there's a load of different functions. So um, you can use, so for the biology department, you could use like, um, like there's a gap fill thing that you could use for different reaction steps. Um, and there's a quiz feature, which you can make to test yourself. The, the applications for Xerti are absolutely amazing. And I think I've only just started to kind of research just a small section of what it could be used for yeah so um for group work i think a lot of people so the way it's done now is obviously like people making a powerpoint presentation each person having a set thing that they need to say and i think a lot of people find that quite static um the main thing that i enjoyed about making the escape rooms was that they a because it's a new software people have to put a lot more thought into it and b because it's really engaging like it makes you think a lot more because um, obviously the slides that they were doing before, they have a set rule, um, set structure that they need to follow. You have, you can think a lot more about what you want to put into it to make it kind of personable. And I feel like people would really enjoy that, like putting their own personal touches on things instead of just going, okay, this person does this thing, the other person does another thing. I think it'd really make them engage with the content a lot more and feel inspired by the work that they're doing instead of just having to stick to this rigid sort of structure. Um, I think another application that we did talk about was um, sort of the potential for students to make a like a, re a revision resource bank. So you can really easily share um, Xerti projects with uh, with your peers um, and that sort of stays, you can make it sort of stay in their account and it's really easy for them to access. We, yeah, so I think with Xerti, um, obviously I spent a lot of time working with it, but I think the things that I found out about making escape rooms and working with Xerti in general sort of only just like scratch the surface of the capabilities that this technology has. Um, I think within like tutorials and stuff, it'd be really interesting to see um, lecturers um, using the escape rooms to as sort of like an icebreaker for students, sort of first tutorial session, um, 
they come in, they do an escape room um, just to get a feel for what the topic um, that they're going to be learning about will be. The, the chemistry escape room I made was sort of like for first year students. I think that is sort of an icebreaker, getting them into because obviously it's quite a collaborative thing, getting them introduced to their peers, um, getting them introduced to the topic as well. It'd be it'd be really nice to see people start doing that. And um, it could even be used um, getting students uh, within these tutorial settings or just within the wider university to make an escape room that can be used for future students to do. I think that would be quite interesting to see that done as well. Okay, this is going to sound Oops. a little nuts. <laughs> okay, so I've just put a summary of what Amy said as well in into the chat, so it's it's there for you um, as well as obviously you can read the transcripts on on YouTube, um, and 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 that's kind of it. And at the time when I was doing a bit of lit research, I mean I I, I didn't find half as many things as I'm going to find today in this conference. So I'll probably be updating these links with a lot more things. But you know this idea of using Google Forms, uh, which might be a slightly simpler uh, thing for the students to use. Um, but yeah, certainly um, what Amy's saying there is that it's got so much potential as an exercise. And even if the students didn't create the full escape room, thinking through uh, makes them engage with the topic that they're supposed to kind of design an escape room around so i think that's the main message that she wanted to 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 put across um so yeah um th this is the chemistry one that uh, that amy created and we're we're really quite proud of the escape the heat one which it was hilarious you're gonna really enjoy this this is purely literally 100 percent the students work um which gives you a sense of what students can create if you let them. Um, but yeah, uh, I know it feels a bit uh, wordy, but once you've got the the the, the story, you'll find it uh, it gets you sucked into the the whole the whole thing. OK, um, so that's it. That's me. I'm not going to kind of um, go on too much uh, and I'll add my contact details into the chat if anyone wants to get in touch. So back over to you guys. I will make sure I don't leave the room when I stop sharing.